Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Hey, uh, just a little update uh, here for you on uh, on where I'm at as far as what I got going on the bench and everything. Uh, I've been wanting to show you this for a little while now. I did make a mention of it uh, in a couple videos. Uh, the one was uh, the community question uh, from uh, Adam there at Sodak Model Cars uh, on our on our approach, and I had actually mentioned it mentioned this diorama in that video. And actually, I mentioned this truck I had at the Rubble Run show uh, that was actually part of this diorama, and I'd get to that later. So I wanted to cover that today real quick. Uh, but but just to let you know, uh, I've been struggling getting videos out. I've, I've done a few shorts, uh, but it is, uh, like I think I mentioned before one time, it is, it is wood collecting time. So uh, right now, a lot of my time is giving, uh, getting my wood collected and getting it stacked and everything uh for the winter coming up so guys i apologize uh i'm not uploading or posting on a consistent basis right now i apologize bear with me uh I'll get this wood stuff here in a few weeks uh i got a little break here for for a couple weeks and then i gotta go get a couple more loads so we should be all wrapped with up with that here in a few weeks but uh so just want to let you know where i'm at on that um so that's what I was out doing today, basically. So I wanted to go ahead and just get this video out to you to try to at least get you here a couple of weeks until I get back on a, well, at least for me, what's somewhat of a normal schedule. Anyway, all right, guys, that's that's what I want to say about that. So, uh, so that's where I'm at there. Uh, move this over just a little bit. There we go. Uh, built this diorama. I've had this done for probably... Oh, I want to say probably 25 years. Um, I know I've added a couple things to it, you know, since then. Uh, but what this is, this is just something as I have traveled out and around and about something that I've actually seen that was kind of inspiration for me, not specifically with these three car, uh, specific vehicles here, but, you know, just, uh, just on this line of what you might see, uh, in a rural setting or sometimes i've even seen these in uh in, in towns before uh like this but uh i started out with doing just one car on here and that was the 57 and i actually guys uh i don't know what compelled me to uh, use the 57 to make a junker but because that's one of my favorite uh one of my favorite cars uh but nonetheless that's what happened and i mean it's it, it made a nice uh nice addition uh or the kickoff to this diorama here uh so basically what this is to depict is what i did is uh, a guy maybe i don't know bought a car brand new uh over the years you know he said well i'm gonna i'm gonna restore it one day and set it out back and uh well then he found this let's just say he found this old sedan oh man i've always wanted an old 40 sedan like that uh, i got big plans for that so he parked that and then maybe, maybe a relative or something had this sitting in a barn, this truck, and uh, wanted him to have it. So here he is actually ended up acquiring two more cars and hasn't even started on this one. So that's kind of like the story I built for this, you know, just, just something to go on there uh, in, in my mind to kind of help me build the thing. Uh, but this was constructed, basically just a plywood base here. I think it's like a, what, half inch plywood base. Uh, all these here are craft or popsicle sticks. Uh, each one of them I cut out and, and uh, shaped the top and everything. And as honestly, uh, I had this pretty straight when I built it. But as time has gone on and, and being stored in different places, these have actually bowed out. And you got like a big pucky over here. Now, I'm going to take the camera off the stand here in just a minute and get up close to this stuff so you can see. But this puck here right here, but it actually has looked like this thing is weathered. The only thing, I guess this could have been like a stained, because uh, this may have been like more grayed up uh, over the years. But, you know, for what it is, we'll just say it was stained and it actually held up pretty good through the years. And uh, he just got his car sitting out in here. And I took another 57 uh, that I had for parts and i i just took basically took cut the quarter panels off of it um it's like basically what this is uh you know he he's got this car he wants to restore it uh he was at a swap meet 
he found he found a set of nice fenders. Now I actually want to weather these up a little bit more. Uh, you know, like that they're solid, but maybe they got like surface rust and stuff on them. But he found a nice set of quarter panels, you know, for it. And there, he came home, set them there. That's where they've been setting for the last six months. You know what I mean? You know how it goes. We get to work and everything. We got big plans. But anyway, that's kind of the premise. But anyway, back to the construction. I guess I sidetracked myself with that. Uh, about a half inch plywood. Just cut a square out of it. Uh, this is all uh railroad material uh your grass material and everything and this is like your green foli foliage which is like what you would use for like tree tops and things like that but that yeah, makes pretty good bushes so we got a bush here we got a bush in the back over here we got one over here if you can see that behind the ford there uh and uh like i said i'll spin this around a little bit and then this right here how i got this wood stump uh where I work years ago, the machine I used to run, we used to use uh, slats to divide our parts, wood slats. A lot of times they'd have these knots and they were real loose and them knots would come out of there. So uh, just had a loose knot come out and figure, hey, you know what? That kind of looks like a scale tree stump. So I just got it. You know, there was a big old tree that stood here at one time and uh, they cut the thing down and parked the cars out here instead of the tree. So but, you know, just stuff like that. So that worked. And that same thing back here. These are like little knots out of out of uh, those wood slats and everything. So uh, now this truck, I actually was inspired. My dad actually bought uh, one of these from my uncle. It had been his brother-in-law. Uh, he had a, it set in a barn for years. I think the last it was licensed was 72. So it set in the barn for years out there. And then finally the barn kind of halfway blew down. So he pulled the truck out. And uh, my dad actually bought that truck, and it this kind is what I I based this model on that real truck. Uh, we was going to restore that and everything, and you know how things go. It just just didn't happen, didn't materialize for us. So uh, he ended up passing it on there uh, here a while back. But anyway, beside all that, um, that's where I got the inspiration for that. So. Just pull this one up in here to you real close. If you can see inside there, maybe I'll turn it around. I got something inside. I don't know if you can be able to see that. Okay, you might be able to see it right. These guys, the lights are terrible right here. Hang on one second. I want to put him down. I got me a flashlight right here. I want to see if you can see inside. Pull this back up. See if you can see inside there. It's not going to cooperate with me. Get it to focus. Okay, see there? We've got a hubcap. Uh, one of the hubcaps is on the seat there, and there's a blanket. Uh, it's like a blanket laying across the back of the seat there. So just a little something inside to add a little uh, extra realism to it there. And then uh, the bed on this one, I took those were those were like craft sticks. And I just uh, chewed them up with a razor knife, cut them to length, chewed them up with a razor knife, and then uh, just painted them gray. Give it the look of weathered wood. And you got a couple slats missing. You know, it broke out and taken out over the years. And then kind of slanted the bed in right here. Took the fender off. Fender's been long gone. Uh, and then took the tailgate, weathered it up a little bit, dented the top of it right there. So now it just lays in the back. And he's got a little few pieces of wood in the back of the bed there too so so that's that now this car here the 40 sedan here this 40 sedan is actually from the uh from the diamond in the rough kit uh, and i actually flattened a tire on it because it didn't have that but it already had the broken glass and this was my early stages of uh of rusting and weathering i mean it's just brown paint uh brushed on there to the side a little bit more rough looking uh, I could always go back and use some of that, that Tamiya weathering master on that, get that cleaned up, looking a little bit better. But, uh, so that's, that's the 40 sedan. Now this, yeah, this one came, now this truck is not the 53 Ford that came with this. I actually have that, uh, that I actually had started restoring at one time and just never got any further, but, and I've also got the trailer for this too. So there's the 40 sedan he's got setting back here. And then this 57, 
we'll pull it up here to you closer. I, I put some hinges on this, just kind of some makeshift hinges to hold that trunk up. But this guy's this guy really needs some work. He's he's been back here a long time. Uh, he's really roughed up. Again, my early stages of rusting. I may go back over this and uh, and try to improve on that just a little bit. You know, for what it is, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, so you've got that bucket's missing there. Trunk fell off. Bucket's missing there. It's got the wires hanging out of it. Uh, rusted up bumpers. Uh, door's pretty complete on this. Get down there where you can see it. Door's pretty complete on this side. Now this side has the effect like, say, uh, he was going to get some more doors or whatever, but maybe he sold a, maybe he decided not to restore it or whatever, but he is missing a uh, vent window there. And then the trunk, kind of open the trunk up on this. Get a little mallet down in there and air cleaner and an extra tire. And uh, just all just all beat up and uh, the seats took and uh, tore the seats up in it you see right here this seat dips down right here like she was all worn out and everything but uh but yeah this is one i built um back when i was in high school uh early early high school i think it was and for some reason i just decided to take this one and use it uh for uh, a junkyard now this is the one that would have come for the box with the blue 50 with the blue car on the box lid and the one that had the white wheels and the and the the beanie caps on it. Would have been that box art. So I tell you about the age of how old this kid is. But I just got him sitting back here in the corner like this and then set this hood. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here and then I just prop this open. And then he somehow acquired a Grill for a 49 Ford there. So he's just got that setting back here in the deck lid. And then this was a another wheel and tire he's got laying back up against the edge here. Old Jack. But uh kind of bring us in a little bit here. So turn it this way. And another little thing on this one. Alright guys, try to remember where I was. I had a uh had to step away for just a quick second, but I think I was starting to talk about the little extras on here and uh built this dog house. Built this little dog house just out of uh just like out of some balsa wood and uh just a piece of uh like 320 sandpaper, I think, for the top. And then uh somebody was out there uh left their Coke can set on the top of the Top of the doghouse there. Let me get the dog to take a little sip there. And then here's my little dog. Now this dog, guys, actually was in the 57 Ford kit. And uh, kind of looks like... Uh, I did another one of these. Actually, I did a Roscoe police car and did one of these like Flash. So that's kind of how I did this one up. Little Bassett laying out there. But he just kind of hangs out there. He's kind of like the junkyard dog. The, the watcher, the keeper of the grounds there, so to speak. But uh, we've got a... Got an old engine here, laying upside down, uh, cranks exposed, so it's probably pretty bad shape. And then, uh, which I believe is a, it's got Chevrolet valve covers, but I believe that's like an Oldsmobile engine or a Buick engine, one of the two. But anyway, it's just sitting out there, uh, had big plans for something and then just never happened, but. And then that's, uh, now I said back to these, uh, so I'd like to weather these up just a little bit more, you know, like they had some surface rust, maybe put a couple little dings in them, but, uh, you know, compared to what he has already there, uh, this is a lot more solid and, uh, that he picked them up at a swap meet or something and then, uh, brought them out here to set in the rain and snow and weather to get all rusted up again. But anyway, uh, guys, just something, uh, just something that I worked on, uh, I started on it probably 25 years ago or so, and it just kind of, over time, I've just added this or that to it, and uh, God actually uh, showed several people, I mean, I've got some compliments on this, uh, it's kind of unique, you know, uh, and I wanted to try out my hand, it's really the first diorama that I did like this, and actually, of this extent, really is the only one that I've actually really ever done, 
And I want to I want to get into some more dioramas too, uh, because you you know the sky's the limit. You know, you go you look and see what's out there. You get different ideas, and you can just you know go nuts with it. Come up with whatever. Uh, I got a couple other ideas that I that I want to work on, but I want to try to get them on paper first before you know, uh, so I can make them as accurate as I can. But anyway, uh, guys, that's really all I had on this one. I uh, just wanted to share this with you. I did a short on this. Uh, I set some music to it, so uh, go check out my short on this. Uh, give it a like. Uh, give this video a like. I'd appreciate that. And uh, just, uh, well, I'll show you real quick here. Uh, the engine, see this has had parts picked off of it. Somebody bought the radiator and uh, hoses broke there. And up underneath, you know, they've claimed the drive shaft at some point in time. But uh, just little stuff like that, guys. Just different things. Uh, rust holes in the hood and the fender there. But just, just something to have a little bit of fun with. Uh, it's a good conversation piece. People seem to like it uh, whenever I've... Uh, Whenever I've shown it to them, this, that, and the other. But uh, it's all, all kinds of fun. But guys, that's what I wanted to just uh, come out with today. Uh, share this diorama with you. And uh, just explain uh, with the wood hauling and everything. Uh, kind of tying up, taking some of my time. So I try to get at least three videos out a week. I'm not sure if I'll have that uh, this week. Uh, but I did do a few shorts too. So, But anyway... Uh, subscribers thank you thank you so much uh we're we're climbing i'm i'm pushing 800 here before too long and guys uh, i want to apologize uh i hit 500 and it kept going past and i uh haven't done a giveaway so we're going to push for a thousand i'm gonna push for a thousand subscribers and guys when i do uh we're going to have a nice giveaway when i hit a thousand subscribers so uh stick with me i appreciate your patience and and uh Thank you, those that watch my videos. I appreciate it. Uh, always something to share. Like I said, we learn from each other and and uh, and go from there. So, guys, that's all I got. I'm not going to keep rambling on about anything else tonight. So, uh, you guys, give me a like, share, subscribe, and thank you, subscribers. I appreciate it for all you do, and uh, thank you so much, uh, and just. And there I said I wasn't going to ramble, and here I go. Hey, guys, this is Eric from Eric's Model Garage. You guys have a great day. God bless you. Happy modeling.